what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking jealousy 4 here to bring you guys more quality advanced warfare today i'm bringing you guys a gameplay where i got 50 plus kills with the asm a gun that i didn't plan to use at all actually on the first week of quality advanced warfare i was using the asm the thing was that i wasn't using it with the right attachments so um and also i was surprised everybody switched over to asm because i was actually one of the first few youtubers that actually thought uh the asm was good and now everybody's fucking praising it and shit. Everybody's praying for it. But whatever, you know. Whatever YouTubers want to think. Because um, everybody was like really sucking off the bow. And now everybody just jumped into the ASM wagon. <laughs> so anyways. Yeah, the ASM did pretty good for me in this gameplay. 50 plus kills. It's been a long time since I last achieved one of those. And now on the same day. I managed to get it three more times. 50 plus kills, caught in several kill streaks, won several games. I won like 10 games in a row. It was super good. And I was like, God damn, what the fuck were you the whole time? <laughs> so I'm kind of excited now to actually play the game a little bit. I still hate the game. I hate it with my passion. I just wish these guns were like in the previous Call of Duty's installments like uh, Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3. I would like to see the bell in Modern Warfare 3. That would have been badass. It would have been badass as a DLC. Cause that gun is that gun is like all around compared to the ACR. The ACR did shake a while. If you get even though you had the foregrip on the fucking ACR would shake all over the goddamn place. That thing was inaccurate as hell. So uh, yeah, it does make a big ass difference. The power would have been added to the freaking Modern Warfare 3 series, and also the ASM. I feel like that one should have been in Black Ops too. Cause if you compare it to the MP7, it's kind of the same thing. Kind of the same feeling though. The accuracy from the hip fire. But it has the aiming of the P90 from Modern Warfare 3. That's how I feel. But it's mostly Modern Warfare 3-ish though. I feel like it's more P90-ish. Because the way it aims, the way it allows me to move, is just the same thing. And that's another thing, guys. Using this gun and this gameplay brought me back a lot of memories. If you guys have been subscribed here for the longest time, and you've seen my Modern Warfare 3 gameplays and my Black Ops 2 gameplays, you should know that I'm always doing good. And Modern Warfare 3... I used to use the P90 in every single one of my gameplays, and I will achieve 50 plus kills, 40 plus kills, um, some crazy ass kill feeds. You know, it is. It was just insane. And I know how the P90 feels. You know, since I still have the feeling, I know how the fucking, I know how to work with the P90 in Modern Warfare 3. So, I know, I know a lot of, from the P90. Now that I'm using the ASM, it's the same feeling, except I'm not using the silencer this time. I'm just leaving how it is. But it does have a lot of accuracy also. It does. It is great from medium to short range. It's the same way the P90 felt. Also, the ASM has the rapid fire even without the rapid fire attachment. So it has everything I need, actually. Look at that. It has the hip fire. So, I don't know. It was really surprising, guys. When I switched over to ASM, it just brought me back a lot of memories. Like, oh, damn, I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 again. That's how I felt. So, uh, if you guys are enjoying the gameplay right now, and also the explanations that I'm giving you guys about the uh, ASM. I'll be doing a best class setup tomorrow. Or maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure when I'm, I'll be able to put it up. But yeah, that's going to be a best class setup for the ASM on the current class that I'm currently using. Because the way I have it is just a lot of accuracy. It has a high amount of accuracy. The foregrip allows it to not shake a lot. It just has the good, the good attachments that it needs. And that one is going to... The, these kinds of attachments will allow you to rush around the map like crazy. That's how I felt. I felt like a goddamn maniac running around with the ASM. I was just taking down people left and right. And I was really surprised because this is the fourth gameplay that I played with the ASM. The fourth gameplay. It took me four gameplays to adjust with the ASM. Because before that, I was always in the AK, the BAL, the MP11, the KF5. And now that I step over here with the ASM like for, into four gameplays, I'm like, God damn, why didn't I do this earlier? So I feel like I'm kind of back, guys. I'm kind of back to that 2011 shape, 2012 shape into Call of Duty where I'm just owning everybody like crazy. I'm back like that. And also, I'm back into yelling at my teammates into doing more shit because I'm the only one rushing out there. I'm the fastest guy out there, but nobody keeps up. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's been happening a lot of times in several of my gameplays where I'm just capturing the B-Flag by myself and I'm like halfway capturing and then they kill me. And I'm like, where the fuck are my teammates? Which I'll talk about in another video because I do have another video where I got like 40 some kills 
and my teammates never capture the fucking flags. I'm like the only one running around the map, and they're all like camping it back there, like they wanted the fucking bomber, some shit. I hate those kind of fucking players. I hate those fucking clan members. Like where they're, they're just they're just there to sit sit around. I hate that shit. I'll talk about it in another video because I don't want to rant right now. It's today's a happy day where I got 50 plus kills, like for the for the longest time, and you know to my hardcore subs, you know from Call of Duty. Yeah, it's been a while. I think I'm finally back, guys. I'm, I'm think I'm thinking that maybe I should go full time into Call of Duty Advanced Warfare now that I achieved something going on here, you know. And also, I might bring some people in. I don't know who, I don't know where or when, but I'll try to do something with it. You know, I'll try to bring back my glory days of Modern Warfare 3 into this freaking Call of Duty Advanced Warfare somehow, some way. Maybe I should bring back Grassman, but I don't have a ghillie suit. They don't give you ghillie suits in this game. That sucks. It's been a while. Oh well. So in the whole gameplay, guys, I managed to call in a lot of gun turrets, a lot of spy planes, a lot of whatever that later laser they shoot from the sky is. You know, I, ca I called them in like several times, and it's been a while since you know since I even called one of those like, since the bell. So yeah, I mean, it was super. I was I was very excited to using all these kills because I was, I was like, yeah, I can finally access them. You know, it's been a while. The only one I can access though is the last one. It's been I don't know. It just takes a while to get that one. And also, I don't want to get off the floor. I don't like to control my kill streak, so yeah, I'm not into that. I'm not into getting the last kill streak. I wish that it was controlled by the AI, but it's not. So yeah, that's what kind of sucks about the last kill streak. So that that is it, guys. If you guys like the gameplay? Make sure you leave a like. And if you guys want to show you some some support about this gameplay of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, leave a like so you guys can show me some support. So that is it. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.